lunchtime, middle 70s by 4 o'clock. A great opportunity if you want to fire up the grill on this Monday for dinner. Yakima, 40 degrees at 8, 63 by noon, 74 by 4 o'clock. And in Walla Walla, we should finally make it into the lower 70s this afternoon, making it the first 70-degree day of this season. Tomorrow should be the warmest day of the week. We'll talk temperatures, records, and we'll let you know when we'll see our cool down coming up. Riley? Thank you, Tiffany. A boy is dead after a fatal shooting in the parking lot of an Ellensburg Jack in the Box Friday afternoon. The Ellensburg Police Department said it has identified the boy suspected in the shooting. Authorities said they would only release that he's a 17 year old boy and because he's a juvenile, they would not be releasing his name or photograph. They said a warrant has been issued for his arrest. This time it's not known where the suspected shooter is and the identity of the person who has been killed has not yet been officially released. The Kittitas County Coroner told Apple Valley News Now the person who died is also a young man. The gunman has been described as a 17-year-old male with facial tattoos that include a cross with dark hair in a mullet style. He was last seen wearing a black jacket with a hood, light-colored jeans, and white shoes. Authorities say they do not believe the shooting to be a random act of violence and believe the shooter and the victim were known to one another. If anyone has any information or potential identification of a person matching this description, contact 911 immediately. A 20-year-old Union Gap woman is dead after a two-vehicle crash in Yakima early Saturday morning. According to Washington State Patrol, both vehicles were heading eastbound on Interstate 82 near milepost 35 when the woman's vehicle struck the rear of the other at a high rate of speed. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. No, other, no one in the other vehicle was injured. WSP says she was not wearing her seatbelt. A United Airlines flight that landed Friday afternoon in Medford, Oregon, arrived without one of its external panels, airport officials say. The missing panel was underneath the plane near the landing gear. United Flight 433 left San Francisco Friday morning and landed at Rogue Valley International Medford Airport just before noon. A ground crew doing a post-flight inspection discovered one of the plane's external panels was no longer there. The airport paused operations so crews could check the runway and surrounding areas for the panel, but nothing was found. Airport officials say the plane did not experience any abnormal operations and landed without alerting pilots that there was an ongoing issue. That's why an emergency was not declared. United Airlines officials say they were investigating how the panel could have ripped off. They say the plane will be repaired and will undergo an examination before it's returned to service. A former Richland physician and healthcare staffing company have agreed to a $700,000 settlement over allegations of participating in a Medicare kickback scheme. According to the U.S. Attorney for Eastern Washington, Dr. William Edward Salco and Jackson and Coker Locum Tenens, LLC, allegedly schemed to bill Medicare for unnecessary medical equipment and diagnostic lab testing. The settlement agreement says the LLC cooperated with the investigation and took action to improve legal and compliance efforts related to placing providers with telemedicine clients. An alert for Pasco drivers as two construction projects this week will impact traffic. According to the city, road pavement work on West Argent Road between Varney Lane and Road 36 begins today, running through Friday, March 22nd. Drivers should expect intermittent lane closures each day between 7 in the morning and 5 p.m. Work on the Broadmoor Boulevard roadway restoration starts tomorrow, March 19th to Wednesday, March 20th. Broadmoor Boulevard be, uh, between Burns and Dent Roads will be closed. An informal shooting range on Durer Road near Ellensburg will close until further notice starting today. According to the Washington Department of Wildlife, that closure allows work crews to begin construction on an official shooting range. It will sport a 100-yard uh, firing range, a 25-yard firing range, and a shotgun area. A parking lot will be added to decrease wildfire risk and add backstops and berms. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, the use of a new cannabis compound that's sometimes marketed as a legal alternative to weed may be more concerning than initially thought, especially as its use rises amongst teens. And a live look outside right now in Pasco through the Dust Devil Sky Cam, 37 degrees. We had beautiful conditions yesterday and they're continuing into the start of this week. We'll be back with more headlines right after this.
for 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos. It's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998. Open seven days a week. Next ET. We got a lot of a lot of representing to do. Queen Latifah hosts and we're backstage with the stars at the NAACP Image Awards plus Paul Rudd's Ghostbusters oh, oh, oh. return. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. When you get hurt on the job, you never know if you're going to get paid by Labor and Industries. Let Bothwell and Hamill fight on your behalf for your workers' comp. We can often increase your compensation. The sooner you call us, the better. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411 for a free consultation. Bothwell and Hamill. Get a great deal on a great looking lawn and a really comfortable ride. Introducing Kubota Z200 series mowers with a new K-Ride comfort system. Designed to optimize your ride so you have everything you need to glide your way to a perfectly manicured lawn. Right now, get a Kubota Z200 mower for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 48 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. Your risk of getting colon cancer increases as you age. So talk to your primary care provider about screening and learn more at applevalleynewsnow.com. Prosser Digestive Health Center at Prosser Memorial Health reminds us that colon cancer screening saves lives. This is how we care. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Welcome back. It's a cannabis compound that's sometimes referred to as THC light, but a new study is sounding an alarm on the rise in the number of teens using products which contain Delta 8 THC. Mandy Gaither has a look at the data and explains why researchers call this a potential public health concern. It's a new psychoactive substance, sometimes marketed as a legal alternative to weed. And researchers say more teens are using the cannabis compound known as Delta 8 THC. It could impact proper development of the brain and um, a whole host of other types of consequences. Adam Leventhal is author of a study published in JAMA that relied on school survey data from 12th graders. We were really surprised to see uh, 11 percent, so more than one in 10 teens in, in America, were using these products at least once in the past year. And a good portion of them um, were not just experimenting. The drug comes in many forms that may appeal to teens like gummies and vaping cartridges. Leventhal says unlike weed, there are no age restrictions for buying Delta 8 in most states where the product is legal, and he says it's not regulated either. So we don't know if these products have impurities and potential toxic byproducts, and we don't know even what's in them. Scientists don't fully understand what effects Delta 8 may have on teens. There are no large medical studies to show exactly how it affects the body especially one still developing. We know that the market for addictive substances moves much more quickly than sometimes we do in public health and research. And we've already seen a teen uh, epidemic of e-cigarette use. We don't want to see the same thing play out with these hemp-derived cannabis products. I'm Mandy Gaither. Leventhal says he hopes the research encourages parents and caregivers to talk to teens about these substances and the concerns over potential adverse health effects from using them. Measles cases in the U.S. have reached a troubling benchmark. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has reported 58 confirmed cases in 17 states, and that's as many as all of last year. The most recent outbreak happened in Chicago with 12 cases this year, but for context, the U.S. saw 121 cases back in 2022. 
Those were confined to just six jurisdictions. And in 2019, more than 1,200 cases were reported across 31 states. That's the most since 1992. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, the 2024 men's and women's NCAA tournament field has been announced and the greatest three week stretch in sports is set to begin. We'll take a look at where some of the top teams are seated next. And a live look outside right now in Pasco through the uh, Dust Devils sky cam. It's chilly outside. It's going to be a beautiful day. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. We'll be right back. Find amazing deals store wide during the wall to wall sale at Furniture Row. Every sofa, dining table, and bed is on sale. Plus five years, no interest. Shop today and save during the wall to wall sale only at Furniture Row. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99, plus advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through March 31st, receive rebates up to $1,600 off on a new Daikin Fit System and thermostat when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. To see if you qualify for Hanford Worker Compensation, please call Smart Law for a free consultation at 1-877-630-1122. Workers and the families of deceased workers who worked at the Hanford site are now eligible for compensation for diseases and illnesses, including neurological, respiratory and heart conditions, cancers, and beryllium-related disorders. This may be an addition to compensation already being received. Call Smart Law at 1-877-630-1122 for Hanford Worker Compensation. Smart Law in Yakima and Tri-Cities. Say no to Middleman Mattress Marco Malays. And yes to Factory Direct Savings at Denver Mattress. And during the March Mattress Sale, get the Summit for only $332.49. Plus five years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. A Connell woman dies after three days in the Franklin County Jail. It could have been prevented if they just would have cared one little bit. Now this lawyer is fighting for her dignity. Everybody's life has value. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Wednesday. I've been dying to take up bridge. We Said bridge. no one ever. <laughs> Next live with Kelly and Mark. Palm Royale's Ricky Martin. Plus, Bush performs. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Go to wagrant.org. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed the nice warm weather we had this weekend. And if you enjoyed it, well, we have more weather like that today. In fact, let's talk about those 70 degree highs. Our average date of our first 70 degree day in the year is typically March 23rd in the Tri-Cities, April 3rd in Yakima. So we're a bit above or ahead of schedule is what I'm trying to say because we already hit 70 degrees yesterday and we're looking at another 70 degree day today. It's already feeling like spring even though spring officially begins tomorrow evening at 8.06. All is quiet, no fog to worry about this morning as you head off to work. Temperatures are currently in the 30s and 40s so it's a chilly start out there. You will need that jacket this morning, but you could certainly get rid of it this afternoon. 37 in the Tri-Cities now. We're at 44 in Walla Walla. We dropped a little bit there and 39 degrees in Yakima. Not much wind out there and there's really not much going on as we take a look at the Pacific Northwest. All of the clouds kind of floating around us, all thanks to that area of high pressure firmly in control of the Pacific Northwest. And when we're underneath that big blue H, that spells out dry weather and it also spells out warmer than average 
weather as well. Now tomorrow near record warmth is possible. Tomorrow will be the warmest day of the week. But then that area of high pressure, we're still under the influence of it on Wednesday, but it starts to shift farther south. So so does that warmth. And that means we start to cool down out ahead of that low pressure offshore. That'll impact us as we head toward the end of the week and into the weekend. So today, enjoy these 70s. We're talking about 75 in the Tri-Cities. The record to beat is 78, so that'll probably remain safe. 72 Walla Walla, 74 in Pendleton, and 76 in Toppenish. Remember, the sun doesn't set until shortly after 7 o'clock, so that'll give you some time if you want to go for a walk after work, if you want to let the kids play outside before you're getting them ready for bed. It's a great opportunity to do that. Tonight, clear and chilly. Temperatures drop back down into the low and middle 40s by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, we'll have a little bit of a better chance of reaching that record high of 77 as we're forecasting 76 in the Tri-City, 74 Walla Walla, and 77 in Toppenish. It's going to feel more like the middle of May today and tomorrow compared to the middle of March. Now we will start to cool things down though, like I mentioned with that area of high pressure shifting south. We drop it in the 60s, but still mid and upper 60s, not bad for this time of year. And then we'll see more clouds by Friday, a couple of showers possible. Best chance for rain now looks like it'll be on Saturday, wrapping up at some point on Sunday. That could change though as we get closer. Yakima 75 today and tomorrow. Warmest day of the week on the first day of spring. That's ironic, isn't it? Middle 60s on Wednesday, and then we start to cool back down into the 50s with rain chances this weekend. Walla Walla 72 today, 74 tomorrow. Today should be your first 70-degree day of the season since we were in the 60s yesterday. 64 on Wednesday. We could see a shower to Thursday. Better chances Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hermiston 75, 76 on Tuesday. Middle 60s. Wednesday and Thursday, and a little bit cooler as we head into the weekend. Riley? Thank you, Tiffany. Now to March Madness. You don't have to be a basketball fan to enjoy the underdog stories and thrilling comebacks, and this year is shaping up to be the year of the women. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis. This morning, the bracket is set, and the March Madness has already begun. Three, two, dropped off to no. Yale earning a guaranteed spot with this buzzer beater against Brown, scoring eight points in the final 22 seconds. Puts it up, no good! The follow, it's good! It's good! Two years ago, St. Peter's became the first 15 seed to make it to the Elite Eight. This year, they're back in the big dance after a pair of thrilling victories over the weekend. A remarkable, astounding week for the North Carolina State Wolfpack. And NC State punching their ticket to the tournament, crowned ACC champs after winning five games in five days. Just a week ago, it was looking like our season was about to be over. And here we are now, man, on top of the world. The Wolfpack taking home their first ACC tournament trophy since 1987 with a win over UNC, which still claimed a number one seed in the tournament. Go for history! Speaking of number one seeds, as if there were any doubt, Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes earned a top seed in the women's tournament, and they're not even favored to win this year. The favorite is South Carolina, which hasn't lost a regular season game in two years. It will be interesting to see how many more people will do women's brackets this year than I've ever done them in the past because of the celebrity of Caitlin Clark. And for those filling out a bracket, men's or women's, the odds of getting a perfect one are just over one in 9.2 quintillion. Yeah, that's a real number. 68 teams uh, make each tournament. Warren Buffett once offered a billion dollars to anyone who could fill out a perfect bracket. The first games tip off tomorrow. Washington State, Gonzaga, and Eastern Washington have all made it to the big dance. The Cougs are making their first tournament appearance since 2008, finishing second in the Pac-12. No one saw this coming at the beginning of the season after losing four starters. Miles Rice returning from beating cancer. And incoming transfers Isaac Jones and Jalen Wells didn't generate a lot of hype. Despite all of that, they put together one of the most impressive seasons in program history. Honestly, I, I can't say that I saw myself being here in this moment. Uh, just, I'm just so happy and glad for this coaching staff. Like, uh, so blessed just to be, have this opportunity to be on this platform. Uh, since I finished my chemotherapy, I, I wrote it down in my journal and on my iPad. All the things that 
you know, me personally, I want to accomplish and team wise and just everything I want for us to be able to do. And, you know, this is making the NCAA tournament was one of the things I wanted to get done this year. And then we got a couple more things we can check off. WSU have earned the seventh seed and will take on Drake on Thursday in Omaha, Nebraska. The Gonzaga men are no strangers to the tournament. Many projections had Gonzaga as a 6, 7, or even lower, but the Bulldogs got the, seed, the 5 seed and will take on 12th seeded McNeese State in Salt Lake City on Thursday. Gonzaga making its 26th straight NCAA tournament appearance. And according to forward Anton Watson, uh, that experience is a huge factor in March. I think that's why I came to GU. It's because, you know, we're known for making the tournament, winning games in the tournament. So, uh, yeah, I think I think we all trying to make a deep run, but we know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of work and we got to take one game at a time. Tip off is at 425 on Thursday. Over to the women's side, the Gonzaga woman nabbed the number four seed and will host the first two rounds at Mac McCarthy Athletic Center in Spokane. They'll take on 13th seeded UC Irvine. The Bulldogs had to wait until the very end of the selection show to see where they would land. Because Gonzaga lost in the WCC championship, there was some doubt about getting a top four seed, but they were relieved when they heard their name called. Pretty sure you remember our freshman year before COVID hit, we were supposed to host that year. Um, that was a word on the street anyways, but just to, it's kind of like a full circle, honestly. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you know, our family gets to come out to Spokane um, and then play in the kennel. Obviously, the best fans in the world. They'll play the first round Saturday. The time is still to be determined. The Eastern Washington women earned the right to, he uh, to head the big dance, uh, to head to the big dance for the first time since 1987 after they won the Big Sky Tournament last week. Now they're headed to Corvallis to take on number three seed Oregon State in the first round after being named the four, number 14 seed. That matchup is scheduled for Friday evening. As for the WSU women, they entered the day with an outside chance of making the tournament, but unfortunately did not make the field of 68. They finished the season losing eight out of their last 11 and simply did not have enough wins in a stacked Pac-12 conference this season to get in. But they will still play a beyond this week in the WBIT, and they'll be a number one seed taking on Lamar Thursday evening. The Kansas City Current kicked off its season Saturday by making history. The National Women's Soccer League team is now playing in the world's first sports stadium dedicated to a women's professional sport. Construction on the $117 million stadium began in 2022. The Current was founded in 2020. The team's co-owners included Angie Long, Chris Long, and Brittany Mahomes, who is the wife of Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. The NFL star later joined the team's ownership group. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, one person is dead and two others are in stable condition following an active shooting situation in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, Sunday night. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. Indulge in Legends Casino Seafood Buffet Experience. Discover a feast of premium crab legs, succulent shrimp, and an array of delectable ocean-inspired dishes. Elevate your evenings with Legends Seafood Buffet every Thursday and Saturday starting at 4 p.m. Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Stan, you're right. The only thing better than video games are virtual reality video games. Especially when you're in a player versus player battle arena. And you're right about Hollowgate being another fun thing you can do at Triple Play. Yes, I win another round. That makes Roy 9 Stan 3. Epic comeback incoming. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including bowling, ropes course, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. If I wasn't too big to fit in there, I'd whoop them both. 
Have you tried to reach your internet company lately? Your wait time will be 45 minutes. At Washington Broadband, we have techs right here in Yakima, so you have a friend to help you through your technology issues. We even have after hours help. Washington Broadband, how can I help you? In this difficult time when every other business is raising their prices, we still haven't in 28 years of serving Yakima, not even field charges. We will be your consistent local internet. Washington Broadband, your original hometown source to the world. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest. Sponsored by Wendemere Group One. amid a weekend of celebrations along the Florida coast. Shots rang out in Jacksonville Beach, sending people running for their lives. Three people were shot. One of them did not survive. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis. This morning, deadly violence rocking a spring break hotspot in Florida. Police in Jacksonville Beach say gunfire erupted in the city's beachfront bar district out in the open, leaving one person dead and two in critical condition. Damn, they shoot no. Just stay down. Video show people running on the beach for cover as shots ring out in the distance. It's a busy weekend. This is Players Weekend. It's St. Patrick's Day. It's spring break. We have a lot going on out here. It's unclear what led to the shooting. Investigators overnight said they believe there were multiple gunmen on the run. We're still trying to figure out just due to the scope of the area. So we've got uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us to figure out everything, put all the pieces together. Law enforcement has been on alert across Florida with spring break underway. Officials in Miami Beach imposed a midnight curfew over the weekend, prompting a lawsuit from nightclubs. But a judge ruled against the clubs, saying the three-night curfew did not cause irreparable harm. Now the large crowds looking to keep the party going have flocked north. Our Andrew Dimbert is there. There's been a bit of a party pilgrimage, you could say, from Miami Beach up here to Fort Lauderdale Beach. Already there have been arrests and crimes here, according to authorities, including even battery on an officer. On New Smyrna Beach, south of Daytona, a teenager pulled a gun during a fight on a crowded beach. A deputy officer quickly intervened, arresting the 16-year-old. Back to the shooting at Jacksonville Beach. Police overnight did not release details about the victims. They're promising an update this morning. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, former President Donald Trump is facing backlash after saying immigrants, some immigrants who come to the U.S. are not people. And, so, and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is following through with his plan to invade Rafa while over a million civilians are trapped in the city. Find amazing deals store-wide during the wall-to-wall -wall sale at Furniture Row. Every sofa, dining table, and bed is on sale. Plus five years no interest. Shop today and save during the wall-to-wall -wall sale only at Furniture Row. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best-in-class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing in all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your community Chevy dealers. There's no other word quite like home. Not house, not residence, not dwelling. Because it's more than any specific place. It could be in the team spirit that keeps your heart pounding the whole drive over the mountains. It could be in the friendships that make you do one more lap around the park. Or make you able to laugh at yourself. It's a feeling, a belonging. And that's really different for everyone. So while we can't define what home is to you, what we can do is help you get there. 
find your way home in a new Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 for only $6.29 a month. From Mercedes-Benz of Tri-Cities. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. Prosser Memorial Health Board Certified Pediatricians Dr. Dennis Moore and Dr. Gary Podiski care for newborns through age 18 and are now accepting new patients at our Grandview and Prosser Clinic locations. Their services include wellness exams, school and sports physicals, and treatment for common childhood illnesses. To schedule an appointment for your child, call a Prosser Memorial Health Clinic near you or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. Say no to Middleman Mattress Markup Malays. And yes to Factory Direct Savings at Denver Mattress. And during the March Mattress Sale, get the Summit for only $332.49, plus five years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. This newscast sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, former President Donald Trump is on the defensive for comments made on the campaign trail this weekend, saying there would be a bloodbath for the country if he doesn't win the 2024 general election. And the U.S. is scrambling to save civilians in Rafah as Netanyahu doubles down on his plan for a ground invasion. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. It's 631 on March 18th, 2024. Let's check in right away with this morning on, with your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, we had a beautiful weekend. What can we expect for today? More beautiful weather today and tomorrow, Riley. In fact, it'll be a little bit warmer today compared to yesterday. And yesterday was our first 70 degree day of the year in Tri-Cities and in Yakima. And we'll likely do it all over again this afternoon. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s this morning. It's 37 in Tri-Cities, 39 in Connell, 39 in Yakima, a little bit colder in Ellensburg, checking in at 32, 42 in Pendleton and 44 in Walla Walla. So the kids will need the layers today. Give them the sweatshirts or the jackets this morning as they head out to catch the bus. Temperatures will be in the 40s, but around recess, they could get rid of that middle 60s and as they're heading home, 72 degrees. It's gonna be a perfect evening if you wanna take the kids to the park or go for an evening walk. Notice that the sun, it doesn't set until after seven o'clock, so it'll still be in the 70s at that point. Maybe you want to eat dinner outside on your deck or patio. By nine o'clock, we're down to around 60 degrees. Tomorrow will be the warmest day of the week, and then our cool down begins. We'll have your latest seven day forecast and talk allergies and records coming up in a bit. Riley. Thank you, Tiffany. Former President Trump's campaign team working to clarify his use of the word bloodbath when describing what would happen if he's not elected. Trump's team says he was only talking the auto industry. Democrats say he was threatening political violence. ABC's Perry Russom is in Washington, D.C. Fallout from former President Trump using the word bloodbath when describing what would happen to the auto industry if he's not elected. We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. Trump making the comments at a rally in Ohio on Saturday. We just have to win this election because he's even predicting a bloodbath. What does that mean? He's going to exact a bloodbath? A senior advisor for Trump's campaign team says he was only talking about economics, writing, Joe Biden's insane EV mandate will slaughter the American auto industry. It is incredibly important that that be accurately portrayed. President Biden's campaign team slamming Trump, 
What I heard was a continuation of the same rhetoric, the same endorsement of political violence that we've seen from Donald Trump for years. Mike Pence, who is not endorsing Trump for president, defending his former boss. But the president was clearly talking uh, about the impact of, of imports devastating the American automotive industry. Trump's bloodbath comment coming in the same speech where he said this about migrants. If you call them people, I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. Some Republicans on Capitol Hill questioning Trump's choice of words. The general tone of the speech is why, is why many Americans continue to wonder, should President Trump be president? Trump on Fox yesterday. If you don't use certain rhetoric, mm -hmm. if you don't use certain words that maybe are not very nice words, uh, nothing will happen. Also in that speech in Ohio, Trump asked the crowd to stand and pay tribute to those who attacked the Capitol on January 6th. Trump has promised if he wins uh, to free people who were convicted for that attack. The U.S. is voicing concerns over civilian safety in Gaza, with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu doubling down yesterday on his vow to invade Rafah. He promises to evacuate the more than a million civilians there, but U.S. officials are skeptical. Getting innocent people out could be even harder than getting aid in. That's so difficult the U.S. and other countries are building a floating dock to access Rafah by water. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden is reiterating his call for a ceasefire and ultimately a two-state solution. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calls Netanyahu an obstacle to such peace, drawing a rebuke from Prime Minister yesterday. It's inappropriate for, uh, uh, to go to a sister democracy and try to replace the elected leadership there. The fact that Israel's most staunch defender in the U.S. Congress, Chuck Schumer, should be making these remarks should be an earthquake in Israel. Southern Gaza shares a border with Egypt, and the European Union is working with Egypt to handle refugees. It announced $8 billion worth of new support yesterday. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, you still have the chance to become a multimillionaire after no one was able to take home Friday's Mega Millions jackpot. And a live look outside right now in Pasco. We're seeing the sun is starting to come up on this beautiful day. Uh, Tiffany Savona has your full forecast coming up. We'll be right back. The Centennial Trail. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Hit by a big truck? I'm attorney Mariana Morales. The big truck heavy hit. Call 853-2222. When a rookie stunt driver meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Again. There's bound to be action. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. So you better act fast. Don't miss your chance to drive away in a new Nissan. Let's roll. Hurry into the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue or get 2.9% financing for 36 months on Frontier. March 14th through the 23rd. Shop over 140 RVs inside the West Coast's largest indoor showroom. Motorhomes, camper vans, fifth wheels, and trailers. The time to buy is now. The Grand National RV Show, March 14th through the 23rd. Indoors at RR RV North Spokane. Special show pricing, giveaways, and food vendors on site. Visit rnrrv.com. Jax, what are you thinking? Grandpa told me to mark down the prices. Hartley, what are you doing? Grandpa told me to test out the beds. My brother and sister are crazy, but so is my grandpa. I love coming to our family furniture store at Meredith Furniture because I get to take naps on all of the beauty rest beds. But the main reason most of you guys come into Meredith Furniture is for all the great prices on beauty rest mattresses. Meredith Furniture on South First Washington, right next to Hobby Lobby.
hit by a big truck in bad weather. There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Hit by a big truck, I'm attorney Mariana Morales. The big truck, heavy hit. Call 853-2222. On behalf of STCU, we want to present you with this $1,000 check. Joe McDonald volunteered at the Pasco Aviation Museum, and although he is gone, his dedication to the museum lives on, earning them a $1,000 check from STCU. He was very particular and did all the research, so the information that's in the display cases were, were absolutely accurate. STCU honors volunteers in our community. To nominate someone, click on Volunteers Count at applevalleynewsnow.com. Welcome back. It's not too late to win the massive Mega Millions jackpot. There was no big winner on Friday. It was the 28th consecutive drawing with no ticket matching all the numbers. Now the estimated jackpot rises to $875 million. The next Mega Millions drawing will be on Tuesday. Tonight's Powerball jackpot is also big after no one won Saturday's drawing. The prize will be worth an estimated $645 million. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, last month five mountain bikers were attacked by a cougar on a trail. Now they're sharing what happened. And a look outside right now in Pasco through the Dust Devils sky cam. 37 degrees out in the Tri-Cities right now. Beautiful day ahead of us. Almost record highs potentially. We'll have more coming up next. I will cry. When you feel protected under our roof, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 25%. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique, and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. Get 7,500 purchase allowance on most 2024 Cadillac Lyric models. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. Good news. For years, Washington Realtors embraced some of the most consumer-friendly practices in the nation, putting fairness and transparency at the heart of the home buying process, providing clients with the duties of their real estate broker in the transaction, along with a written agreement explaining the cost of brokerage services, and receiving and signing this agreement up front. Now, these principles are not just industry standard, they're state law. Transparency in Real Estate, brought to you by Washington Realtors. Is your broker a realtor? Welcome to Pingree Ford in Sela, Washington, where small town attention to customer service meets a vast selection of the best new and used Ford vehicles available. Whether you're interested in our cutting edge electric vehicles or our dependable lineup of trucks and SUVs, we've got it all just down the road. Come see us today and feel the power of Pingree. When you feel protected under our roof, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 25%. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. After this woman died in lockup, should local jails do more to protect inmates? Wednesday. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. 
Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. If you enjoyed the day yesterday, you're really going to enjoy today. We hit our first 70 degree temperature of the year in Yakima and also in the Tri-Cities. Our average date, typically when we see our first 70 degree day, looking back in history, Tri-Cities, March 23rd, Yakima, April 3rd. So we're a little bit ahead of schedule this year, but I don't think anyone is complaining about that. With the warmer weather comes allergy season. We're starting to see the trees bloom out there and primarily tree pollen is going to be the issue over the next several days. You can see pollen levels expected to be in that medium to high range today and tomorrow, and then they go up even more as we round out the work week. The sky is getting brighter this Monday as we get closer to that official sunrise of 7.02. Sunsets after 7 o'clock. Isn't that great on warm days like this? Gives you the opportunity to get outside after work for a little bit. Temperatures are down into the 30s. It's a chilly start. Don't get me wrong. We're down to 37 in Tri-Cities, 39 in Connell, 44 Walla Walla, 39 in Yakima, and 40 degrees in Hermiston. Here's why we're so warm and why we've been dry. We have this ridge of high pressure that moved in this weekend and it's directly overhead. That's going to keep us dry and warmer than average today and tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow will be the warmest day of the week. Record warmth is looking possible in some locations. And then on Wednesday, that area of high pressure weakens and shifts more to the south, taking the bulk of the heat with it as well. So we're still going to keep it dry, but we start to cool a little bit and we're waiting for our next storm system, which will push on shore later this week, bringing those rain chances back to the Columbia Basin. So today, enjoy the middle 70s, 75 in the Tri-City, 72 Walla Walla, 76 in Toppenish, 74 in Prosser and Pendleton. Let's talk record highs because we're going to be awfully close in some locations. Tri-Cities forecast 75, the record high to beat 78. That'll probably be on the safe side. Yakima 75, 78 is the record as well. Walla Walla 72 is what we're forecasting. The record to beat in Walla Walla 72. So that'll be close, set back three years ago. And in Hermiston, we'll likely break the record of 70 set back in 2007 with a forecast high of 75 degrees. So it's feeling more like the middle of May opposed to the middle of March. Tonight, we drop back down into the low and middle 40s. It'll be a chilly start, not as cold as this morning. And tomorrow afternoon, another day with near record warmth in the Tri-Cities. We're forecasting 76. Record high to beat 77, so we'll be a little bit closer in the Tri-Cities tomorrow. Spring officially begins tomorrow at 8.06, and it's already feeling like spring out there. We start to cool, though, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but we're still in the 60s. That's not bad for this time of year. It's actually still above average. And then a few showers roll in on Friday. Better chances for rain Saturday, wrapping up at some point on Sunday. Yakima, 75 today, tomorrow. Then we cool into the 60s. Upper 50s Friday with rain chances back in the forecast Saturday and Sunday. Walla Walla, today should be your first 70-degree day of the season. Enjoy 72 today, 74 tomorrow for the first day of spring. 75 in Hermiston today, 76 tomorrow, and then middle 60s making a comeback by Wednesday and Thursday. Riley? Thank you, Tiffany. Last month, reports came in from the west side about a group of bikers who were attacked uh, by a cougar. Now they're sharing their story. Julie Calhoun reports. <laughs> <laughs> they're amazing. Carrie, Annie, and Tish are competitive cyclists and have been riding together for at least five years. But on February 17th, a ride would turn into a fight for Carrie's life. We remember it all, I think, and yeah. we all remember it a little differently. So um, that's good because it helps us put our puzzle pieces together. That Saturday afternoon, a group of five women started riding from Trisha's home in North Bend and made it up to Tokel Creek Trail near Snoqualmie, then 19 miles into their ride. The cougars ran out from the brush on the right side of the road, and they kind of ran between the two groups of, of us and um, one went up into the woods um, and the other one changed his mind and decided to uh, tackle Carrie. The women say it happened in the blink of an eye and the young cougar dragged Carrie off her bike and had her face gripped in its mouth. The women jumped into action to save their friend. I immediately tried to choke the cougar, which was like choking a rock. We were just, we were just 
like hand-to-hand -hand combat battling this thing. 15 minutes into the battle, a small moment of release, and Carrie was able to get away. I knew every second what was going on, and I was doing my own, you know, poking at it and trying to poke his eyeballs out and get up his nose and pry his mouth with my hand. The group managed to hold the cougar down with a bike. An official wildlife officer arrived and shot and killed the cougar. The whole ordeal lasting 45 minutes. My nerves are... Carrie suffered severe trauma to her face and permanent nerve damage, but says thanks to her friends, she made it out alive. I know for a fact I would be dead if they didn't come back in. I, I would just be gone. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast. But first, a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, could the secret to saving big at chain restaurants be a subscription? Applebee's launching a new dining subscription, the Applebee's Date Night Pass. We kind of felt like we had won the Applebee's lottery. Emily Brooks and her husband had given up date night to save money, but snagging the coveted Applebee's deal put dinner out back on the table and in budget. It's made it a little bit more accessible. When the restaurant runs promotions that feel like the consumer is being taken care of in a little ways, the consumer is more likely to continue to come back to that restaurant. So is subscribing to a restaurant a smart way to save or is putting another financial commitment on your plate a mistake? We'll have the expert pros and cons coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, New York. When you have moderate to severe eczema, it's okay to show off. With Dupixin, show off your clearer skin and less itch, because you have plenty of reasons to show off your skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, you can stay ahead of your eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your skin from within. Many adults saw 90% clearer skin, some even achieved long-lasting clearer skin and fast itch relief after first dose. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your eczema specialist about to fix it. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.51. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in just a moment, but we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. The Ellensburg Police Department said it has identified the boy suspected in the fatal shooting in the parking lot of an Ellensburg Jack in the Box Friday afternoon. Authorities say they would only release that he's a 17-year-old boy, and because he's a juvenile, they would not be releasing his name or a photograph. They said a warrant has been issued for his arrest. At this time, it's not known where the suspected shooter is, and the identity of the person who was killed has not yet been officially released. The Kittitas County Coroner told Apple Valley News Now the person who died is also a young man. A 20-year-old Union Gap woman is dead after a two-vehicle crash in Yakima early Saturday morning. According to Washington State Patrol, both vehicles were heading eastbound on Interstate 82 near milepost 35 when the woman's vehicle struck the rear of the other at a high rate of speed. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. No one in the other vehicle was injured. WSP says she was not wearing her seatbelt. A United Airlines flight that landed Friday afternoon in Medford, Oregon, arrived without one of its external panels, airport, of, airport officials say. The missing panel was underneath the plane near the landing gear. A ground crew doing a post-flight inspection discovered one of, the panel, uh, one of the plane's external panels was no longer there. Airport officials said the plane did not experience any abnormal operations and landed without alerting pilots that there was an, any ongoing issue. That's why an emergency was not declared. A former Richland physician and a healthcare staffing company have agreed to a $700,000 settlement over allegations of participating in a Medicare kickback scheme. 
According to the U.S. Attorney for Eastern Washington, Dr. William Edward Salko and Jackson & Coker Locum Tenens, LLC, allegedly schemed to bill Medicare for unnecessary medical equipment and diagnostic lab testing. The settlement agreement says the LLC cooperated with the investigation and took action to improve legal and compliance efforts related to placing providers with telemedicine clients. An alert for Pasco drivers this morning as two construction projects this week will impact traffic. According to the city, road pavement work on West Argent Road between Varney Lane and Road 36 begins today, running through Friday, March 22nd. Drivers should expect intermittent lane closures each day between 7 in the morning and 5 p.m. Work on the Broadmoor Boulevard roadway restoration starts tomorrow, March 19th to Wednesday, March 20th. Broadmoor Boulevard between Burns and Dent Roads will be closed. First degree animal cruelty is now ranked a uh, is now a ranked felony following a new law in Washington state. House Bill 1961 was signed by Governor Inslee, which increases the penalty for those convicted of animal abuse. This law makes all instances of animal abuse a serious level three offense. Supporters say this will allow courts to stop with lenient sentencing. Washington State, Gonzaga, and Eastern Washington have all made it into March Madness. The Cougs are making their first appearance since 2008, finishing second in the Pac-12. No one saw this coming at the beginning of the season. After losing four starters, Miles Rice returning from beating cancer, and incoming transfers Isaac Jones and Jalen Wells didn't generate a lot of hype. But despite all of this, they put together one of the most impressive seasons in program history. WSU have earned the seventh seed and will take on Drake on Thursday in Omaha, Nebraska. The Gonzaga men are no strangers to the tournament. Many projections had Gonzaga as a 6, 7, or even lower, but the Bulldogs got the 5 seed and will take on the 12th seeded McNeese State in Salt Lake City on Thursday. Gonzaga making its 25th straight NCAA ap uh, tournament appearance. Tip-off is at 425 on Thursday. Over to the women's side, the Gonzaga woman nabbed the number four seed and will host the first two rounds at McCarthy Athletic Center in Spokane. They'll take on 13th seeded UC Irvine. The Bulldogs had to wait until the very end of the selection show to see where they would land because Gonzaga lost in the WS WCC championship. There was some doubt about getting a top four seed, but they'll play in the first round Saturday. That time is still to be determined. The Eastern Washington woman uh, earned the right to head to the big dance for the first time since 1987 after they won the Big Sky Tournament last week. Now they're headed to Corvallis to take on number three seed Oregon State in the first round after being named the number 14 seed. That matchup is scheduled for Friday evening. If you enjoyed the weather yesterday, today is looking just as nice. We're starting off with a nice sunrise in progress. Official sunrise just after 7 a.m. as the sky continues to get brighter. We'll see wall-to-wall -wall sunshine today. Temperatures starting off in the 30s and 40s, so it's a chilly start. You'll need that jacket as you head off to work and get those kids off to school. It's 37 in Tri-Cities, 39 in Hanford, 41 in Dayton. 36 in Yakima, you can see these numbers continuing to drop 35 now in Tri-Cities and 35 degrees into Hermiston. Today we're going to warm up pretty quickly, 75 degrees. I think the record high of 78 in the Tri-Cities will remain on the safe side today. It'll be a beautiful day. Tonight you should be able to get outside after work if you get home early enough and enjoy the 60s and 70s. Overnight we drop to 40 degrees, clear and chilly. And then tomorrow, near record warm, highs around 76. But after tomorrow, we start to cool things down as that area of high pressure that's been keeping us warm and dry starts to weaken and shift a little bit farther south. 68, Wednesday, 65 on Thursday with those rain chances back Friday. Best chances look to be on Saturday. Riley? Thank you, Tiffany. GMA is next. Your local news is back tonight at 5 o'clock.